Hi everyone, my name is Chris, and today we're going to learn how to beat the street. We'll learn how to be safe and smart near streets using the word car, which stands for cross, alert, and ready. We're going to beat the street by working our way through three levels, just like a video game, leveling up with our safety knowledge as we go. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. This is your street, or my street, or maybe your teacher's street. It may look perfectly safe right now, but to be ready to cross this street or any other street, we need to know that danger is always just around the corner. Oh, ah, yikes! You see, streets can be a little scary, but we can beat them. It's time for level one. The first letter in the word car stands for cross. So, how do you cross safely? Well, let me introduce you to a few of my friends that can help us out. Their street crossing knowledge is out of this world. Meet Crossing Kendrick, Irene, and Listening Lyra. They are going to teach us how to cross safely by learning how to properly stop, look, and listen for cars. Kendrick is about to cross the street. Is he going to stop first? Where is he going to stop? Right before the curb, giving plenty of space between you and the street is perfect. Nice work, Kendrick. Now Irene is going to show us how to look before we cross. She looks left, then right, then left again checking for cars. When she sees it's safe to cross, she continues to look left and right while she's crossing. It's important to keep looking out for dangers even while you're walking. Way to go, Irene! Okay, let's pause for a second. It's easy to look left, right, then left when the street is empty. But what if there's something blocking your view? Oh! Wow, that scares me every time. This car is in my way. I can't see to my left. There's nobody in the driver's seat. So what I need to do is walk to the edge of the car and peek around so I can see if it's safe to cross. I look left, then right, then left again, just like Irene showed us. But what about... Large trucks! Whew. No matter what may be blocking your sight, always cautiously look both ways at the edge of the vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's a car, a large truck, or a... Uh-oh. An elephant waiting for the bus? Seeing is safety. In addition to stopping and looking for cars, you always need to be listening for cars when crossing the street. See how Lyra carefully listens for the sound of traffic before she crosses? Awesome work, Lyra! Okay, now Lyra has a special test for you. She's going to play some sounds while you close your eyes. If you open them too soon, you lose. If you open them when you hear a car, you win. Open your eyes. How'd you do? Was it hard to hear the car? Now that you've learned the basics of crossing safely, let's see how our friend Emma uses these skills to beat the street out in the real world. When I cross the street, I stop, look, and listen for cars. Then I look left, then right, then left again before crossing. I keep checking for cars until I get to the other side. If there's a car parked in my way, I check to see there's no driver. Then I walk to the edge of the parked car, look left, right, and left again before crossing. 
I beat the street by crossing carefully. Okay, quiz time. What should you do when there's an elephant blocking your view of the road? A. Feed him peanuts. B. Scare him with a mouse. Or C. Peek around him to see if it's safe to cross. Of course, the answer is C. But if you happen to have some peanuts on you, it might be nice to give him a treat before you cross. One more question before we level up. What did Lyra teach us? A. Listen for lightsabers before leaping. B. Listen for cars before crossing. Or C. Listen for cows before cartwheeling. The answer is B. It's time to level up. Dun 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 dun! The second letter we need to spell car is A, which stands for always be alert. To show us how, let's meet our next extraterrestrial experts. This is Knowing Ned and Lansing Lance. They're going to teach us about the signs and signals that keep us safe from cars. Ned knows how traffic signals work. You've probably seen them before, but let's take a closer look. Green, the color of delicious, nutritious broccoli, means go. Yellow, the color of bananas, which, believe me, must be unwrapped before eating, means caution. And red, the color of red velvet cake, minus the frosting, means stop. Wait a minute. Whoa! Some crosswalks have special signals just for people who want to cross the street. If you want to cross a street that has a blinking red hand and numbers counting down, that means you have to stop and wait. You can't start crossing the street if the hand is red. If the light changes to the shape of a person, that means it's safe to cross, as long as you're looking and listening as you go. An important part of being alert when crossing is to make eye contact with the driver. Seeing them and letting them see you will help you cross more safely. Glancing Lance does a great job using all of his eyes to make eye contact. Now let's join up with Tim as he tells us how he uses signs and signals to safely cross the street. The red hand means stop. I have to wait until it changes to a person before crossing. The timer shows me how much time is left to cross the street. I know it's important to walk instead of running and to stay inside the crossing zone. If the signal is blinking, I'm not supposed to start crossing and just wait for the next one. When I cross, I look at the driver to make sure that we both see each other. I beat the street by staying alert for signs, lights, and drivers. Quiz time! Okay, what does a flashing red hand mean? A, stop. B, high five. Or C, talk to the hand. The answer is A. What does a yellow light mean? A, fries are done. B, caution. Or C, chicken crossing. The answer is B. Yellow always means caution, not just for lights and signals, but also traffic signs. Hey, way to go, everyone. We've completed level two. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, sweet. Magic safety wands. Now for the last letter we need to spell car, R, which stands for ready. Last but not least, let's meet our final intergalactic helper. This is Biking Beatrix. She's going to teach us about safety gear from our universe. Being ready means knowing how to correctly use the right kind of gear to safely cross the street. Back in level two, we talked about making eye contact with a driver before you cross. But what if it's hard to see? 
What if it's raining cats and dogs? Uh-oh. Whoops. That's not right. Uh, I said raining cats and dogs. Okay, that's better. When it starts raining, it gets dark outside and car windows get blurry. Bright clothes aren't enough. So we should wear reflective clothing or clothes with lights to get a driver's attention. I made this myself. It also works great at night. When it comes to clothing for crossing the street, brighter is always better. Before we pass level three, there's one more way to be ready that we need to learn about. How to wear your helmet correctly. Whether you're biking, scootering, pootering, hovering, skating, or hanging out, wear your helmet firmly on your head. It should sit flat on your head and not move around. The strap should be loose enough to allow you to open your mouth, but not so loose that it lets the helmet move around. Mm. Nicely done, Beatrix! Now let's have Kayla, as she prepares to ride her scooter, show us how it's done. Because I have long hair, I have to adjust my ponytail to get my helmet to fit right. It can't be too far back, or forward, or too far to the side. When I can fit two fingers between my eyebrow and my helmet, I know it's on the right way. The straps make a V around my ears. I know the helmet fits right when I can put one finger under my chin strap. My mom says it's important to wear a helmet every time I ride my scooter, and my reflectors help keep me safe when it's getting dark. ready for danger. Okay, last quiz. Why is it important to wear reflective gear? A, for fashion. B, so that drivers can see you. Or C, to attract moths. The answer is B. If you got that right, that means we did it. We just leveled up. Dun, 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 dun. Cool! Shields of knowledge! Now, repeat after me. Cross, alert, and ready. Cross, alert, and ready. One more time. Cross, alert, and ready. Cross, alert, and ready. Remember car, and it might just save your life. Because when you cross, you're alert, and you're ready, the street isn't as scary. And you can tell that scariness to take a hike. All it takes is a little knowledge and a bit of common sense, and we can all beat the street. Thanks for joining me today. Be safe out there. Now I'm gonna go get this thing fixed. Does anybody know any good magic button repair places?